This is homemade bread made by my neighbor with her own home sprouted grains. I would never eat just a plain piece of bread for breakfast, untoasted. I could eat this bread all day and it just makes me uh, dream of having an oven one day. Yesterday, I opened up the hood of the car to something that I do not like to see. This is not good. <laughs> huh. He just found a mouse. I've been here, and for some reason, the pack rats around here pack with cacti. So that's great to have in here in our brand new engine. They even brought the tennis ball up here to pack. It seems like I'd rather have a home made out of tennis balls than cactus, but. That's just me. The day prior to this, we went on a drive and our AC was not working. Interesting, as it had been working just the evening before. It doesn't take much detective work to know that the rats had chewed the AC wiring. Not the worst thing ever, but this engine has only been in our car for four months, so not the best thing ever either. Baron went on a passionate rampage, digging up any visible cacti surrounding the scamp. It was pretty impressive. He got three full wagon loads of cacti and we burnt them all in the fire pit. You might recall the video from exactly one year ago called Time to Adapt, where we dealt with another infestation of pack rats. And now we know September's not only elk season, but pack rat season, the season to keep car hoods open and peppermint oil everywhere. I realize this is their home, but They've been exponentially multiplying in this area because we are here. Smells, food, a garden that is no more thanks to them. And where there are lots of rodents, there are lots of rattlesnakes. So we cannot let this continue. So far we haven't seen any rattlesnakes here, but we have seen several just a short drive away. And Baron always loves to usher the living ones off the road. Crikey. Ooh, he's a big daddy. By the way, Baron's had a lot of experience handling reptiles, but that doesn't mean he or anyone else should do this. Since we run into rattlers on the road so frequently, he'd like to get a snake hook to keep in the car, but currently only has a trekking pole. Their camouflage is unreal. That's pretty neat. One of the biggest ones we've seen. It must be fly mating season as well. This is called a bug assault. <laughs> you pour salt in here and you shoot the flies. Get him. Yeah, get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. This is nuts. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty upset. Yeah. Oh. Baron is gone for the weekend. He is on a hunting trip, so it's just me and camp. I am about to ride my bike over to a neighbor's house. They are cooking some ribs, and they're gonna be using their wood mill to make a table for some friends, so I'm gonna go and check it out. We're gonna be needing to get one of those soon as we start moving forward with our dwelling unit building. We'll talk about all that some other time, though.
this is the home of James and Doreen. They just sold this home that they built themselves to move into this bus that they're building themselves. James built this boat and this tiny house. We're so bummed that they're moving after only just getting to know them, but there's a whole lot of life to live. It's Doreen's bread that I was eating at the beginning of this video. This mill is pretty neat because it doesn't require any turning of the logs. The blade flips 90 degrees and he can cut perfect boards. It's pretty neat. Thank you so much for having me, James and Doreen. Gosh, it's getting windy. There's a cold front coming in and this is it. And I guess that's what was bringing all those flies. For whatever reason, I still can't totally make sense of it. I'm about to go hang out with neighbor number three and build Baron a birthday cake. His birthday is tomorrow, he'll be 33. You want to go on a walk? So it calls for three cups of flour. So if we do a half recipe, it'll be half. What? That's kind of small, right? Let's do the whole thing. Let's do the whole thing! Then we'll have a lot of carrot cake. <laughs> he doesn't ever need to know that. <laughs> We baked you these three muffins for your birthday. <laughs> yeah. It's your 33rd, so we thought that three was the appropriate number. Oh, he's really cute, too. I'm pretty morning. Happy birthday to Baron, who's not here. I got a text from him saying that yesterday they got into some elk and saw the biggest bull that they had seen ever, any of them. Um, but the wind swirled behind them or something and said they're uh, probably going to go somewhere different tomorrow because that bull is probably so OG that it would be kind of hard to wrangle him. He's super smart. They, I guess, hiked really, really long and hard yesterday, and they all set their alarms this morning and all independently turned them off and slept in. So I don't know what their plan is today. Hey, camp. Hey, camp. Hey, camper. Camp, look. Hey, 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 hey. We have been filming so much this month. We have so much footage. And I really have to edit it today. Honestly, I'm probably going to edit this video today. But I think it's a coffee, coffee kind of morning. Uh, yesterday was a really great day. I'm going to make some coffee and have another great day.
what do you think? Do you want to go on a walk? Okay. I think this is pretty cool. The bread, pesto, produce, and eggs are all from my neighbors. And the sausage is from a local farm. Pretty awesome. From what the neighbors say, the wind is going to be a pretty constant companion of ours each year, mostly in the spring, sometimes in the fall, and my eyes have really been struggling with it. This is why I've been wearing my glasses so much for the last too many months. I'm having a really hard time with dry eyes, can't get my contacts in, and my prescription is so bad that just looks like pop bottles on my eyes and also I can't see as well with my glasses. They slide off my face doing any type of athletic activity. I'm trying to figure that out, but of all the problems I could have, that is not a very big one. A bigger one is trying to sit here and focus <laughs> and edit this video. 